Hey guys, welcome back to Bible. So today we're going to talk about a little story in our Bible workbook about Martha, okay, and Mary. Um, I'm going to read you guys a little story and then we're going to answer some questions together and then you guys are going to complete a page in your Bible workbooks. Okay, so our theme this week is believing God and believing what he says and what he does. So I'm going to read to you guys a little bit about Martha, and you guys can just listen carefully. This is a passage from Luke 10, 38 through 42. Jesus had been traveling from town to town, telling people the good news of his coming kingdom. He had been healing many sick people. When he came to the village of Bethany near Nazareth, he wanted to see some special friends who lived there. These friends were Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, two sisters and a brother. They often invited Jesus to their home to eat with them and to spend time with them. They loved Jesus and he loved them. Mary and Martha were glad to serve Jesus and his disciples when they came to visit. Martha opened the door and saw Jesus. She welcomed him and the disciples into her home. Then Martha began to prepare and cook the food needed to serve their guests. Mary was glad to see the Lord Jesus. When Jesus came in and sat down to teach, Mary sat at his feet, listening to every word he said. Mary wanted to learn all she could about God. A few minutes of hustling and bustling, Martha noticed that Mary was not helping with the meal. Martha looked around for Mary and saw her sitting near Jesus. Then Martha realized that she was going to have to do all the work because Mary was listening to Jesus teach. Martha wasn't happy. She was going to have to do everything all by herself. Finally, Martha couldn't wait any longer. She decided to say something to Jesus. She went directly to the Lord and said, Jesus, don't you care that Mary has left all the work for me to do alone? I'm doing everything by myself. Tell her to come help me. Jesus looked at her and said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about a lot of things. What you need to do is learn from me and trust me. Mary understands the importance of these things. What she is learning will not be taken away from her. What is, what is important to one sister is not important to another sister. So what did Jesus mean by that? Martha was getting so upset that Mary wouldn't help her. She was too busy listening to Jesus. So she complained to Jesus about it. And Jesus said, Martha, there is nothing more important than learning about Jesus. Cooking and cleaning and preparing the meal comes separate. It comes second to learning about God. So Mary is more concerned about listening to me and learning about Jesus than she is about cooking and preparing the meal. And you should be doing the same. So he was telling Martha that she was worrying about the wrong thing and that she should be more like Mary and listen to God and listen to his teachings as opposed to worrying about the meal because nothing is more important than learning about Jesus, okay? So I'm going to ask you guys some questions. You guys can answer them out loud or answer them in your head. I just want to go over some questions with you guys. Who were Mary, Martha, and Lazarus? So they were two sisters and a brother. They were siblings, and they were friends of Jesus. Why did Jesus go to visit them? Because they were his friends, and they invited over, him over for dinner. What did Jesus do at their home? He taught people about God, right? And what did Martha do while Jesus was teaching? She was worried about preparing the food, right? And which sister's behavior pleased Jesus more? Mary. And why? Because she was listening to God and she knew that that was more important than worrying about the food, right? So if Jesus were to visit you at your home, what would you do to prepare for him? Mar Martha and Mary had different ideas of what was important to do during Jesus' visit. If you had been in their home, would you have listened to Jesus or would you have helped serve the food? Think about that question. Why did Jesus tell Martha that Mary's choice to listen to him was more important than serving food? Because it's important to get training and Jesus was there to teach and preach and that is way more important than worrying about dinner, right? Learning about Jesus is way more 
Learning God's truth and developing his relationship with him must come first in your life. So everything else should fall second to that. Sports, school even, fun time with friends, that all comes second to developing a relationship with Jesus. And as you guys are in first grade and young, it's very important at your age right now to just develop that strong relationship with God and you will have that for the rest of your life. When you go to high school, when you go to college, when you grow up and get married, like you will have that relationship with Jesus forever. So it's important to establish it now at a young age and then as you get older, your relationship with Jesus will only grow. So that is my words of advice for you guys. You guys are gonna do page 105. I'm going to try to cover the answers, but it looks like this in your Bible workbooks, page 105, and you guys are going to answer the questions, and then tomorrow we will go into something else, okay? So that is my little Bible lesson for you guys today. Thank you for listening, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.